Hi, this is Gina Versa from the Waffle Press Podcast. I'm here with Steve Niles, the creator of 30 Days of Night and the new comic, October Faction. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. How you doing? Really good, really good. Um, Sunday has been pretty good so far. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, Steve, just jumping right into it, um, it's October 30th, a day away from Halloween. Mm -hmm. Spooky season. Uh, what attracts you about horror as a writer? Like, you know, what inspires you? You know, I don't. I don't really know. I've just always been. Ever since I was a little kid, I've just been kind of obsessed with the darker stuff. Mm -hmm. um, as far as being a creator, I think. I think I just really enjoy scaring people. Yeah. Give them a good scare. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know we all like want to be scared in some way. You know, it, I think you know. it's therapeutic. Yeah. I actually think it's kind of you know it's good for us to be scared uh -huh. in a safe. You know, yeah, safe of course. Scare. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's like less scary than things in real life, yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And just a uh, second question. Um, you know, a lot of work, your work, it has, you know, 30 Days of Night, Vampires. Um, what, you know, what, uh, and, you know, a lot of creatures like vampires, like zombies, you know, everyone's, like, drawn to them now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, what, like, what do you think makes them, like, so interesting, would you say? Zombies? Yeah, or, you know, vampires or just the undead, I guess. I think all, well, well, I think they're basically a reflection of us. Yeah. I mean, that's what really makes them really scary is when a vampire comes after you, they're still essentially humans, mm -hmm. you know, coming after you. And it's even worse with a zombie. Yeah. Because they're just like, I think they represent sort of the mindless crowd, uh -huh. you know, which is, a, I don't know you, but it's a huge fear of mine. Right, yeah, like Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, you getting know. stuck, can you imagine having a whole crowd of people turn on you, mm -hmm. you know, and I think the zombie Again. fear sort of comes from that. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, uh, 30 Days of Night, um, you know, it was an amazing graphic novel. came out uh, before the uh, vampire trend, would you yeah. say? Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, was it, do you ever, um, was it, do you ever, you know, miss the days when vampires were a little more, you know, uh, you know scary? The, scary, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I did 30 Days of Night, the way mm -hmm. we did it. Ben and I were absolutely adamant about making them scary again and I remember you know talking about it we we're like they, they don't care about you mm -hmm. they, they see you as nothing but food yeah, so they're essentially land sharks yeah. you know. and so you know we went from that right away just wanting to make them scary because yeah. so yeah, many exactly of them are just right. romantic and they're your best friends and you know, it's just, it gets a little silly after a while. it's just not scary yeah, definitely. And uh, just changing gears here, I want to talk to you about um, October Faction, yeah. which is on uh, its third graph right now. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little about it? Because, um, you know, it's reading some and it's a little more comedic, has a little more black humor than, you know, say your other work. It's a little lighter. You know, it's, a, it's about a retired monster hunter trying to keep his family together. So automatically, it's a little lighter. Theme. Yeah. But you know, I'm having I'm having fun playing with a lot of things that I've I've written before. Mm -hmm. But now I get to handle it a little lighter way. I'm still doing vampires and werewolves and ghouls, and, you know, all these different kinds of monsters and stuff. But being able to handle it just in a lighter, more fun way. It's, yeah. It's, it's a nice break for me. A little uh, change of pace. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like like Evil Dead Two or like. Exactly. Yeah. You know. It's always fun to be able to be able to put some humor in there. It's hard to maintain just that scary all the time. So I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Actually, working on the fourth graphic novel right now. Oh, cool! And um, and uh, it's about family. Would you say like it's uh, has very much? Okay. Very you want to talk about, about that person? Well, it's, you know, one of the one of the things that the dynamics of it is that it's this retired monster hunter whose children want to follow in his footsteps and he's like you know I've got 30 years of, of enemies coming yeah. after me you know I don't need my kids following so it, so it gets into that it gets into the sort of the family dynamic mm -hmm. cool, cool. and uh, you know we could uh, it's published by IDW um, you know you could find the three act graphic novels online uh, any uh, you know uh, website or uh, yeah you could go to stevenniles.com or you know idwpublishing.com you know if you want to get them online they're available everywhere gotcha and one last question to leave you with Steve yeah uh, favorite horror film Night of the Living Dead Night of the Living Dead yeah that's a classic uh, is it the um, when you when was it when you first saw it I saw it when I was a really little kid. I must have been seven or eight. Uh -huh. And I turned it on. I mean, I tuned on right when they were doing sort of the television broadcast about what was happening. And I had one of those, like, a World a War of the World night where I wasn't sure I was watching the news or not. I was absolutely terrified by it. And then that sort of started 
me, yeah. you know, you being really interested. And with that, you know, I wound up becoming a huge George Romero fan. Mm -hmm. And then I found out that, you know, Nay Living Dead had a connection to I Am Legend, which is my yeah. favorite novel in the world. Mm -hmm. So it's a great, it's a great book. It was a really influential yeah. film on it. So cool. Thank you so much cool. for joining us today, Steve. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.